वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन टेक्निक्स इन दैट व्हाट इज एनालॉग कम्युनिकेशन एंड व्हाट इज डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन इन शॉर्ट वे डिस्कस व्हाट इज बेस बैंड सिग्नल एंड व्हाट इज मॉड्यूलेटेड सिग्नल इन शॉर्ट वे डिस्कस व्हाट इज यूनिडायरेक्शनल कम्युनिकेशन एंड बाय डायरेक्शनल कम्युनिकेशन वे डिस्कस now today we are going to discuss the important concept which is called as modulation now in front of you there are three waveforms all are time domain already we uh, know there are two types of domains one is the frequency domain second is the time domain whenever the x axis is time and y axis is amplitude it is called as time domain and whenever x axis is frequency and y axis is amplitude it is called as frequency domain so the first diagram is modulating signal the signal that we are going to modulate only one cycle is there we written as time versus em em stands for modulating signal amplitude second is called as carrier signal into bracket it is called written as high frequency signal so many cycles are there and ec stands for amplitude of carrier signal when both superimpose on each other we are getting the signal which is called as amplitude modulated signal ec and em will combine so modulation has basically two types one is called as amplitude modulation second is called as angle modulation amplitude modulation where amplitude is going to change in angle modulation there are two types frequency modulation and phase modulation frequency modulation means frequency is going to be change and phase modulation means phase is change we know every waveform has three properties or characteristics we can say amplitude frequency and phase so in modulation when we change only amplitude of the modulating signal by keeping constant frequency and phase it is called as amplitude modulation when we change frequency of the carrier by keeping constant amplitude and phase it is called as frequency modulation and when we change change phase of the carry carrier by keeping constant amplitude and frequency it is called as phase modulation so modulation has two types amplitude modulation and angle modulation and angle modulation has sub types one is frequency modulation second is phase modulation why they are in this way because frequency and phase are dependent on each other we know frequency and phase means horizontal movement on x axis so whenever frequency change phase is change and whenever phase is change automatically frequency is change now we see what is modulation exactly to overcome the drawback of base band transmission and to transmit base band signals by radio modulation techniques is used base band signal or it is also called as information signal is a low frequency signal and cannot travel longer distance just like we cannot walk at longer distance so modulation is the process of superimposing low frequency information signal on a high frequency carrier signal the the first waveform is a modulating signal where it is also called as information signal it is just like a person who is walking second is the carrier it is also called as high frequency signal where it is written as a carrier carrier is shown as a car and when both will superimpose we call this as a modulated signal so when person sits in the car it becomes a modulated signal so person has uh, everyone has certain capacity to walk so that's why it is considered as a low frequency and carrier is considered as a car because car will travel more distance as compared with human beings so it is high frequency and both will combine will means that person will sit in car so this is called as modulation so why it is required distance uh, barrier is the one thing other parameters are base band signal transmission cannot be used for radio communication to transmit the base band signal for radio communication modulation must be used 
why it is necessary number one reduction in height of the antenna avoid mixing of signals increase the range of communication multiplexing is possible and it improves quality of reception so we one by one we discuss this what is reduction in height of the antenna uh, we know antenna is a device which is used for transmitting purpose as well as receiving purpose so we have a radio in our home or television is there so your radio or your tv receive the signal by using this antenna so antenna purpose is for both the ways it transmit the signal as well as it will receive the signal so height of the antenna is important it is always one fourth of the wavelength it is always one fourth of the wavelength wavelength means it is a lambda so for the transmission of radio signals antenna height must be multiple of lambda upon 4 we know lambda is equal with c upon f where c is the velocity of light it is 3 into 10 raise to 8 meter per second and f is the frequency of the signal to be transmitted the minimum antenna height required to transmit a base band signal consider one example if the frequency is 10 kilohertz the antenna height will be lambda upon 4 as lambda is equal to c upon o 4 lambda is c upon f the equation becomes c upon 4 into f so it becomes 3 into 10 raise to 8 upon 4 into 10 into 10 raise to 3 if you calculate this it becomes 7500 meters and practically this much height of the antenna is not possible here we consider frequency 10 kilohertz so what happens when we increase the frequency just look at this when we increase the frequency from 10 kilohertz to 1 megahertz mega means 10 raise to 6 then we recalculate height of the antenna so it is a c upon 4 into f put the values c is 3 into 10 raise to 8 and frequency is 4 into 10 into 10 raise to 6 10 10 megahertz we consider not 1 so it becomes 75 meters so practically this much height of the antenna is possible so in short when frequency is more height of the antenna is less practically possible so this is the first need of modulation second is it avoids mixing of signals if the baseband sound signals are transmitted without using the modulation by more than one transmitter then all the signals will be in the same frequency range that is from 0 to 20 kilohertz we know the high, uh, audio range is 20 to 20 kilohertz so all will mix in the same range therefore all the signal get mixed together and receiver cannot separate them from each other so that's why if each baseband sound signal is used to modulate a different carrier then we will occupy different slots in the frequency domain or different channels we can see thus modulation avoids mixing of signals that's why modulation is required third is increase the range of communication the frequency of baseband is low just to be discussed it is a low frequency and the low frequency signals cannot travel over long distance when then when they are transmitted they get heavily attenuated the attenuation reduces with increasing frequency of the transmitted signal and they travel longer distance the modulation process increases the frequency of the signal to be transmitted so therefore it increases the range of communication next is the multiplexing is possible multiplexing is a process in which two or more signals can be transmitted over the same communication channel the multiplexing allows the same channel to be used by many signals hence many tv channels can use the same frequency range without getting mixed with each other or different frequency signals can be transmitted at the same time improves quality of reception with frequency modulation and the digital communication techniques such as pcm the effect of noise is reduced to a great extent this improves the quality of reception avoids mixing of signals consider the example channel 1 has baseband signal 20 to 20 kilohertz channel 2 also has the same channel 3 also has the same so if we are not using carrier signal then all will mix with each other so that's why baseband signal 1 is modulated with 3 megahertz carrier baseband signal 2 modulated with 2 megahertz carrier and baseband signal 3 
modulated with one megahertz carrier. So, separate carrier is used that is why we avoid mixing of signal this is the need of modulation. This is the general classification that we are going to study in detail in this course. Modulation has two types analog modulation and digital modulation. Analog modulation has amplitude modulation and angle modulation these two types. Amplitude modulation is divided into DSBFC. DSBFC stands for double side band with full carrier. DSBSC means double side band with suppressing carrier and SSB means single side band and VSG, VSB means vestigial side band. Angle modulation has two types frequency modulation FM, phase modulation PM and third type is pulse analog modulation which has three types pulse amplitude modulation PAM, pulse position modulation PPM and pulse width modulation PWM. This total tree is a analog communication and on right hand side digital modulation has three types pulse code modulation abbreviation or in short written as PCM, delta modulation DM and adaptive delta modulation ADM. So, today we discuss what is modulation, what is modulation technique, what is the difference between modulating signal, carrier signal and modulated signal, what is the need of modulation and how modulation is divided into different types that is the classification of modulation.